This is Kofai Ardokola Government Day Secondary School. One of the schools benefiting from the free education program as well as the free WIAC registration of the Governor Kefas administration. Like their counterparts in other schools, students here are on holiday, except for this handful staying back for tutorials preparatory to their forthcoming WIAC exams. Beneath the serenity on the surface, things may not be as rosy as they seem here as investigation by Channels Television reveals that the school authorities allegedly sabotage the state government's free education policy. Um, I'm a student of this school and I joined this school. Some students who spoke with our reporter say class. even though the state government has already covered their WIAC registration costs, the school principal and examination master asks them to pay and in some instances remove their names from the registration list and replaces them with external candidates. This, according to the students, is corrupt enrichment by the authorities and is at the expense of bona fide students. According to the exam master, he told me and my mother that the Ministry of Education gave them few lists of those who are writing work free, that so we will pay for money for, we will pay the work registration. I checked my name, my name was among those who are going to write the work. But there's one of my friends again, his name is George A. George. His name was not shortlisted. Uh, I submitted. Uh, the examination master of the institution and his assistant deny the student's claim, insisting that the Education Resource Center of Taraba only gave them approval for 247 free slots as against 316 candidates which they submitted. They insist that the Resource Center gave them November the 20th, 2023 as deadline and any registration beyond this date is not captured for free WIAC registration. This directive is, however, contrary to that issued by the governor. Based on the, the letter I received, this is the letter with me here. The letter stated that any student that was captured on or before 20th November 2023 are the bona fide candidate of the government, that is the interla. So all that that were captured on, that is after 28 November 2023, should pay all the necessary registration fee. We take our cast to the Ministry of Education, that's to the Resource Centre. When we take our cast there, they say, it's, if you did not come before a speculated time they have given, you have to pay to your registration by yourself. That's what we do. While the examination master and his assistant are given reasons for not registering all the students due to the limited number given for free WIAC registration, the principal of the institution on her part says no student of the institution has been omitted. Um, I don't know anything like that because why should we collect 40, 40 something thousand for such an examination? We don't collect that amount, and we have not collected any of such amount from any student. Like I said, all my bona fide students who are there, and the registers can be very verified from the resource center, all 247, we have registered them at no cost, but at the cost of government. That claim by the principals is false. The state government says there is a you deliberate know, intent on sabotaging the free education policy of the governor and is therefore sending a the note of warning to principals and head teachers to forthwith no desist from collecting any money from parents for the free WIAC registration or any other tutorial that has already been covered under its free education policy. The state commissioner for education denounced the claims of the exam master and principal that the education resource center determines the number of students that would sit for the exams. You know, it's one way that they have been using since we started YA registration to confuse the public, to give them this false notion that the education resource center is corrupt and is uh, apportioning uh, slots to schools. The Education Resource Center has no power on determining who writes WAIC because some parents truly cannot afford to pay WAIC fees for their children. And some principals who have done this, there are some students that this year will not write WAIC because some principals replace them with others to make money. Already, one principal and an exam officer have been suspended and the state government says efforts are on to apprehend and expel such corrupt persons in order to pave way for a more effective and transparent administration 
of the state government's free education program.